how do you look back now on uh, donkey stock? Uh, fondly, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. You know, I think it is. Uh, I think we were pretty proud of it as a as a as a record to sort of like you know give to a few people and go. What do you make of that? You know, and it did. You know, people came back. You know, gave, I think it gave us a lot of confidence to go and make make the album that we've we've just made. You know, so so uh, I think it's all. You know, just feel it's good. You know, it's a good album. <laughs> no, it, was, it was a good starting point because it was the first time everybody was writing yeah. together. So, I mean, that's what you have to do <laughs> to be a band. So, uh, I mean, what did you do? What did you do differently now then? Can no. you, yeah, I mean, for this album, because oh, you say well, it gave us a good starting point, but. You start somewhere and you get well, to Well, at the time or? we had um, we had our friend Romeo playing the bass. He's now a big superstar in Magic Numbers. Do you do you dislike him about it? Do no, you? not at all. Yes, I mean, it was already. It wasn't like it came as a big surprise that, that the Magic Numbers existed, and we're slowly getting bigger. And we weren't really rehearsing as much, so in a way, we're very happy that he's after like years and years of hard work, he's got, got to where he is. And we've found a, a full-time member of the band who's, who's made it a lot easier to write and record songs. Okay, okay and you were saying he, he was... Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, well, you were talking about differences now, because I interrupted you about the magic numbers, but maybe you can... Do you still re remember your thought you were... Well, I mean, at the time, when we did Donkey Stock, it was, and how did we write that? It was a bit more like rehearsing songs and I think there was a lot more, I don't know, was, a lot of it was done in the studio. There was a lot more debate. We hadn't rehearsed as much as like now being a, a band that sort of meet on a regular basis, rehearse on a regular basis. We know what we're doing before we go in. We all talk about it. We all sort of have more confidence in the role we have. The donkey stock one. Well, yeah, that was, uh, donkey stock was much more. Um, I think everyone was just like it's kind of like everyone was like hearing when we were recording it. Everyone was hearing back for the first time what the band kind of sounded like, you know. So it was like. It's like um, you know, getting a new haircut and looking in the mirror for the first time, going, "Oh right, that's what I look like." And you kind of get used to it. So then, when you know, when you come away from that, and then you go on a few tours, write a load more songs, and you kind of you already know, kind of you have the confidence to know what you're doing, you like, and it sounds good to you. And you know, so a lot of uh, a lot of donkey stuff was very sort of meandering, and would, it sort of it was a lot more sort of the ideas. Whereas this is now sort of like we took the, the, the new ideas that we had and really sort of condensed them so they're kind of like quite concise and to, to the point. Um, and I think that's the difference with this album.